Hey, this is Sean Patrick Williams, and I just want to thank you for joining me for Warrior Nations Live today. And uh, thank you for taking this time. I hope these devotionals are inspirational to you and that they challenge you and they'll challenge your faith to another level. Um, uh, today, I just want to, I want to talk to you about the prayer of faith. If you'll turn with me to the book of James and specifically chapter 5. The book of James chapter 5. James is one of my favorite books. It is also James was the pastor of the apostles in Jerusalem during the founding of the beginning of the church. And um and one of the things that the scripture talks about, it says this in verse 13, is there any one of you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him bring psalms. Is anyone sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of Jesus. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. If he has any committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed for the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And then it goes on and talks about how Elijah prayed and shut the heavens up for three years. So uh, that's a powerful prayer. When you pray in the heavens, shut up or open up in your prayers, man. And I've seen that happen. God will do it. And I, I have, I want to sh just really focus on the prayer of faith, saving the sick. Um, we, you know, we've traveled all 30 different nations over the course of our ministry and ha held crusades and did, we, you know, we always give an altar call for salvation and always pray for healing and baptism of the Holy Spirit and deliverance and these things. And I've seen the gift of healing manifest in our ministry over and over. I've seen that, I've, that there's a difference between the gift of healing and the prayer of faith. The gift of healing is very unique. It's a spiritual gift and it usually has some type of sensation that you can sense. I mean, I've felt the heat of the Lord and I've seen like a burning and it's just like hot coals and seen people just get touched and just very demonstrative many times and seen the tumors fall off of people that way. I've seen people come out of wheelchairs, blind eyes open up, deaf ears open up. I've seen it. I've seen it. I know, I know he's able. But most of the people that have been healed through our ministry have been healed by the prayer of faith, not the gift of healing. The prayer of faith is not sensational. The prayer of faith is not demonstrative. The prayer, the prayer of faith is a simple prayer by someone who will believe that the Lord will do what he said he will do. It's not dependent on the person praying besides that they believe God and that they know he's able. And I believe in the anointing oil I believe that it's just oil, but it represents someone's faith when you obey the word of God and you take the anointing oil and you put it on somebody, they repent of their sins if they have any. You bring them before elders. And but that prayer of faith and that obedience will break things. I don't know why prayer is always our last thing that we go to. We always wait until we get in a jam and then pray, oh God, help me. Oh God, help me. But God, he wants to help you first. He don't want you to get in a jam. He wants He wants you to tap into his, his heavenly resources in the beginning, not when you're in trouble. And so my, cha my challenge to you today is I, and one thing the Lord spoke to me one year, every year I go and I, every year I, but at the beginning of the year, I fast and pray and try to get a word for the year and listen to the Lord and get direction and instruction for the year. And one year he said, son, pray the prayer of faith. People get healed. I said, yes, Lord. And all year long, I just called people up for prayer. People got healed. Hundreds of people got healed. It was crazy. That next year, I was fasting and praying. And the Lord said the same thing. He said, call people up. Pray the prayer of faith. Pray for healing. I said, Lord, I've been doing that. He said, do it more. You'll see more people healed. And we did, sure enough. More people got healed. And we're going to continue to do it. So we do that. And I'm telling you. The prayer of faith will save the sick. I challenge you today. It's not just some person that is called in a full-time ministry. No, it's for you and I as followers of Jesus Christ. We have a covenant promise that God will save us. He will deliver us and he will heal us. And I decree and declare healing over you today. I curse coronavirus right now in Jesus' name. I curse diabetes in Jesus' name. I curse high blood pressure. I curse cancer. I curse 
um, deafness and dumbness in Jesus' name and blindness. I curse these sicknesses and infirmities and I loose them by the blood of the Lamb. And I pray healing be released over you. I pray a fullness of the anointing of God over your life. I pray that the healing power of the cross would touch your body right now in Jesus' name. Pray for somebody. You'll see them get healed. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for taking your time to be a part of these devotionals. God bless you. Thank you. Connect with us at warriornations.org. We appreciate your prayers and support.